The Chamber asked its members, what makes your business tick? What challenges do you have growing your business? And which resources are valuable to you? Here's what we learned. I'm here with Todd Pasquarella. Todd is the chairperson of the Delaware County Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. He also is one of the owners of Union Grove Distillery in Arkville. And we're talking today about the needs that business owners have here in Delaware County. Uh, recently, the Chamber hosted a series of business check-in and community sync-up sessions uh, in Arkville, in Hancock, in Delhi. We also did it virtually. Uh, and we started with one simple question. What's stopping you? What's the barrier that you have as a business owner to growing and developing your business here in Delaware County? Todd, let's talk about some of the some of the challenges that our owner that our business owners identified. Where do you want to start? Well, uh, we could start with uh, things like the seasonality challenges that that people are are running into. Um, Explain what that means. Well, this is something that we uh, have to uh, address here in in the area uh, b based on the the tourism uh, patterns that people tend to follow. We uh, as business owners try to uh, keep a year-round revenue flow as much sure. as possible, which is a necessary thing to run a business. However, we do have to also accommodate ups and downs, both uh, because of the uh, slow seasons in the spring and in the, uh, in the autumn as well, as well as throughout the week itself. So the weekends tend to be way more busy. During midweeks, we see a lot less traffic. Um, these are, these are uh, things that we know are um, challenges that are built in here, although um, for running a, a successful business, it's definitely something that, that is a concern and needs to be addressed. And, and you know, essentially, how do we smooth out those, those peaks and valleys? How do we make those, maybe not reduce the peaks, but how do we make those valleys maybe not quite so deep Correct. Um, as, as they've, they've, they're experiencing now? What are some of the other issues that you that we heard that well, you, that you see? Uh, business owners are seemingly always uh, in search of enough capital to keep their uh, you know business running, to meet payroll, to make improvements that they need. Um, and in these days here, uh, in the last year and a half or so, um, people have spent a lot of their money just plugging holes and dealing yeah. with uh, adaptation. So um, access to capital, long term capital, is a is a big concern. And, and one of the things that I heard uh, during that session was, particularly with a lot of our new and recent business uh, that have opened just in the last couple of years, we've had a number of businesses, new businesses that have opened in Delaware County over the last 18, 24 months. Um, but because they're still relatively new, they're not, uh, financing may not always be an option for them, at least the traditional financing that's available. Uh, so improving that, that access to capital is certainly going to be a big issue, continues to be a big issue for, for business owners. What else? What else did we hear? Well, um, you know, the usual uh, issues around workforce staffing, both in terms of the availability and the quantity yeah. of staffing, but in, in terms of uh, preparedness of staffing and the training that they need to get up to speed and the, and the uh, ability of the workers to meet the tasks at hand. And that's uh, seems to always be, uh, um, you know, predictably a, a challenge for business owners. But in, in these times, specifically uh, with people leaving jobs, coming back, leaving the area, that sort of thing, um, you know, we have, uh, well, and, and other challenges to do with unemployment and, and uh, you know, many, many hosts of reasons. But that is uh, understandably plaguing uh, people who are um, looking to either you know stay stay stable or even grow their businesses? Mm -hmm. As you said, it's remarkable there are a number of new businesses yeah. that were able to come along throughout this period, um, but inevitably everyone runs into this same uh, barrier with the staffing issues. So, what about housing? Housing is always. I mean, before the before the pandemic even began, housing was a challenge because you know the the kinds of salaries and wages that people can afford to pay um, in, in the Catskills here uh, is limited by, well, seasonality, access to capital, all the things we're talking about. Yeah. Um, so, you know, a lot of us wish we could pay more, but the reality is that we have to pay what we can afford to pay for certain, for certain jobs. 
Um, so that limits the uh, available funds that, that workers have to be able to afford the housing that they need. Um, so inevitably we run into this cycle where, um, you know, there's a, there's a gap between um, pay and say rent, average rent that's, that's needed for people to be able to afford and, you know, even, even uh, home buying as, as well. So um, definitely a challenge in terms of the imbalance between um, wages that are available and uh, both the, the, the cost mm -hmm. and the quantity of housing that's, that would be needed to meet that same uh, you know, workforce demand. Now we haven't looked at, we haven't discussed today and a little premature to be looking, talking about so possible solutions. Uh, but one of the solutions that, that you've been talking about for some time is this idea almost of clustered housing in some communities. Do you want to talk about that just a little bit? Sure. Well, I mean, we've seen throughout our communities how it, it sort of started with the shortage of lodging and the shortage of lodging uh, created a need for the market to find a solution. And that's been short term rentals and mm -hmm. those Airbnbs. Um, as well as other things. But a lot of our housing stock has actually slid over and become lodging stock. And that has left an even even bigger hole uh, in, in the uh, market for, for affordable housing where it's needed. So, um, you know, what I've heard from a lot of people and, and sort of what I'm trying to bring to the forefront is the idea of needing to make up ground in terms of the amount of housing that has been lost, but is actually is, or is never there to begin with. It's necessary for economic growth. And, uh, you know, we have limited land available for development here in our uh, Catskills and the watershed. So we need to make better use of some of that land by, uh, uh, you know, potentially clustering housing developments closer to uh, closer to themselves, closer to each other and closer to utilities and the resources that you need to keep the cost of the housing down. So we, you know, we for many years saw um, sort of, you know, uh, houses being built around the, the countryside on, right. on larger plots of land. Sure. Um, but those are rather expensive. And for someone starting out, say, in their young 20s or, or with a family, what have you, um, you know, building a house on five acres or more um, when you're starting is not necessarily a, an option. So we need to provide those uh, lower cost options and, you know, perhaps uh, protect them from, uh, you know, from being turned into short-term rentals. Um, but these are the kind of challenges that, that are, are out there for people looking to find an affordable place to live here now. Yeah, you know, one of the, one of the topics that came up uh, in a couple of different places, a couple of different uh, places uh, was the, maybe the way I could best describe it is the, the attitudes um, of, of folks that, uh, you know, we the chamber is often called the, the the cheerleader for the county, and that's part of what a chamber of commerce certainly does. But uh, that there's not we don't we don't always think as positively as we should about our community. Um, any feelings about that? I think part of it is that people want to feel like they're they're listened to, and you know, for us as a chamber, this whole exercise is really about following through on that concept of gathering information from the people that we're serving and interacting with so we can digest it and make it a part of uh, you know what we're doing to develop the solutions. I think if you just ex exist in a vacuum, you're not really gonna get that accurate information enough to, to create the solution. So um, a lot of it is, is people, I think their, their morale dropping you know, in general, but because of the fact that they don't feel like we're, we're working together on a lot of these well, things. Well, they don't feel connected. Right, they feel like we're in our own silos here and there and everywhere. And, and if people were working together more, um, we'd get a lot more done to, to, to fix these problems. Yeah, and one of the things that I heard uh, several times from lots of different people is that, a, that uh, desire of, of business owners to work more collaboratively with other business owners. And that, in a lot of ways, is really central to why we have a Delaware County Chamber of Commerce. Right. Yeah, it's very true. And business owners really do not want to see each other as uh, competitors here. They rather, you know, we're all looking to survive and do do well enough. And and so, you know, wherever we can collaborate, um, those are those are the things that we should should focus on finding the means to do so. Great. Well, Todd Pascarella is Todd's the chair of of the of the Delaware County Chamber Board of Directors. Thank you for the time today and talking about this. Um, what's the next step? 
Well, uh, the chamber board is going to uh, start to digest this information and we're going to um, incorporate it into our long-term strategic planning. We're also going to look at uh, existing programs that we do have, existing connections we have that can be put to use for some of these challenges. And we're also going to look at areas where we need, may need to develop some new programming. So this is a very, uh, very helpful step in us developing um, our next year's worth of uh, vision on how we're going to, yeah. how we're going to serve the community. Great. And there are more of these programs, these check-in sessions coming up during the month of November, likely over in Stanford, Walton, and Sydney. So watch for that as, as well. And of course, we'll keep you informed here on, uh, through whatever means that we can, uh, here at the Delaware County Chamber.